Hello and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be talking about the monster reveals coming from the upcoming Games Workshop Warhammer 40,000 preview show. It's going to be happening on the 8th of October at 2 p.m. British time. Now they've just put a brand new article and a brand new trailer out. I'll put the trailer up in the background now because it basically confirms what's going to be shown off. Upcoming models for Warhammer 40,000 and also Kill Team. Now before we jump into the meat of this and start talking about potential models, I just want to pause the video for a second. That trailer that they just put out shows something very, very interesting and I'm wondering if they're maybe trying to hint at us. Again, this is me grasping at straws. We are going down the rabbit hole on this. I'm going to put the image up on the screen. Do you know what? I'm going to hold it between my mighty godly hands right on top of my five head. That image right here, right? That shows off every starter box set we've had for every edition. And I'm wondering, since the rumors are saying 10th edition next year, could they potentially show off the 10th edition starter box set? Of course not. No, they couldn't do it at this stage. Surely not. Maybe, though, they could show off the art piece for it and get us all hyped for the incoming 10th edition. That is some food for thought. Now, in terms of what they're going to be showing off at this preview show, I'm sure most of us have already guessed it so far. It's kind of it's kind of right there in front of us. It's got to be the Imperial Guard. That's going to be like the main preview of what's going to be shown off. We still have the Rogaldorn tank to see. We still have the new Cadian models to see, the new Commissar. I know some of it got leaked, like, you know, that picture that we've been talking about now for months and months and months, but we haven't seen them in the full HD images. Apparently, there's rumors of new Attilian Rogue. Rough Riders, um, there's rumours of a new Lord Solar model, like with a horse and some mechanical horse or something strange like that. There's a lot of stuff that is going to be coming for the Imperial Guard. And of course, the, the crown jewel of this is the Imperial Guard box set, which apparently is going to be coming out in November. And as I mentioned um, on my previous video, like, was it two, three days ago? Um, when it comes to that box set, it's going to be just like the Leagues of Voltan box set, where it's going to be a limited box set. This is where you're going to be getting your hands on the Imperial Guard Codex first. First, if you don't get that box set, then you're gonna have to wait for the general release of the Imperial Guard. Basically, another FOMO box set from Games Workshop. Now, just because the Imperial Guard are the main course doesn't mean that's all we're going to be fed. I guarantee we will see some other stuff. One thing, of course, is World Eaters. We've seen Angron. We've seen the Berserkers now. There are more units coming for the World Eaters. I don't know what they are. I've heard whispers about what they could be, you know, cultists or something. Not blood pack i don't like i don't i really don't know what to call them but you know more more units for world eaters so i'm hopefully we'll see something like that um i'm going to do a video dedicated to this sometime in the next couple of weeks but there is going to be a brand new book series announced um in the coming months weeks days or something like that maybe on this preview show maybe that's where they can show it off this book series is basically going to be the bridge between ninth edition and 10th edition. Think of it of the Psychic Awakening. Basically, Psychic Awakening to Electric Boogaloo, but it's not the Psychic Awakening. I have no idea what the storyline is. I have no idea what models are going to release with it. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we get stuff like Dante, um, maybe, you know, some new crew, uh, some new Tau, some new Eldar, just Tyranids, all the mad stuff you can think. Hopefully, we get some awesome stuff like that. But I have heard through the Whispers of the Warp that book series is coming. Probably by the end of this year, start of next year, when they're going to start bridging these two editions together. And when it comes to the Kill Team reveals, I've talked about this. The video is literally up from the other day. Um, the Whispers of the Warp are telling me that it's going to be the brand new Katakin models, which very, very much excite me, versus Necrons in this brand new box set. Uh, in terms of the Necron models, I think it was Death Marks and the Immortals. Um, apparently, they share the same sprue. So again, that makes sense. Um, I, I really don't know if they're going to be new poses, new models or anything like that. I know, of course, the Katakin are new models because we've already seen the new Katakin stuff um so i definitely know that they're going to be the necron side i'm probably going to say no i'm thinking it's just going to be just bang average you know the same old necron models just put in a nice little bundle and put in this box set really if you're going to be buying this box set i think it's all down to the casket that's going to be the main selling point of this box set and in terms of selling the box set 
I think we actually may have the price point for this box set as well. I think Games Workshop have revealed that in a subtle way. Now, what's going to be happening during this reveal show is Games Workshop is going to be giving everything away. Like everything you see revealed during the show, one person is going to win this. And of course, there's terms and conditions to this. And the terms and conditions are on the website. And it states like something is £120. So I think this Kill Team box set is going to retail over on the Games Workshop website at 120 quid and that's basically it that is the big news today of course monster reveals coming from games workshop when i say monster reveals and well should, should i say when they say monster reveals remember this is games workshop they're they're trying to hype their events how many times have we gone to these events and we've come out with blood bowl right remember that one time i stayed up to 3 a.m in the morning i ordered like nine red bulls i drank them all and all i got was blood bowl and I was up to like three the next morning. Just couldn't go to sleep. Absolutely ruined my life for a week. Um, but, you know, all fun times. I enjoy it. We always enjoy it. Of course, I'm going to be doing a, do the watch along over on this channel. It's going to be fun. It's going to be great. We're all going to laugh all the way through it as we normally do. If you want to come and join it, then come and join it. Um, I normally go live about a one hour before uh, their stream. And we just hang out, chat, do predictions, have some fun. I actually am going to be doing a big giveaway during that stream hang on one second one second i have some contraband here which i'm going to be giving away this illegal box actually it's not illegal anymore gw fixed it it is no longer banned in every country in the world so you know if you want to come to the watch along and win some squats um then yeah come along right on that note i'm off i'm going just never brought the box see you now have a good day and bye bye <laughs>